I'm back home in Texas at the moment. Um, I am at a uh, uh, Greater Houston Rowing Club, I believe. Neighborhood on the on the water. I'm on the uh, neighborhood side. There's an open water side that. Um, last time I got in, there were some alligators over there, so kind of steer clear. We're gonna paddle around and fish some of these edges and see what we can find. I'm gonna use some of the same techniques that I used uh, before on freshwater and see if I can get some of that to pay off. So here we go. over here looks promising looks like it's been shaded for a while I would think there'd be something in here Oh, it's 
sucks. I ain't fooling with these things. Because they got teeth. Bye bye buddy. I hate fooling the alligator gar completely. Um <laughs> especially when they're foul hooked. But it was fun. It's really dark. The old GoPro is doing pretty good. But it's dark. It's really dark. I knew I was seeing. I was marking something. And uh, I was like, crap. I just kept casting. And sure enough, I felt it a couple of hits. And I think they were slapping it with the tail or something. I don't know what they were doing. But I could feel it. Too blind. I, I'm running, uh, I think it's like 17 pound braids, what I decided to go with. I, I spooled these new reels with something slightly different than normal. Maybe I catch it. I'm gonna try some more before I head back. Maybe this time I can catch him in the mouth. That way I can actually land him. I'm not gonna try to catch him in the mouth um, <laughs> with my bare hands. I don't have the tools to do that. So stay tuned. two alligator gar no bass not even I gotta get a light I honestly think the uh, ah, the alligator gar is what I've been feeling nibble and honestly I don't know if I caught it on camera I, I was periodically turning the camera on and off uh, but there was one I swear he was anywhere from five to six foot long rolled in the water gave me a heart attack I hope I caught some of that on camera. I don't know, it's kind of dark, so probably not. But all you can see is white bellies rolling out here. Kind of creepy, but there's all, you know, there's lights under the bridge, so it's, it's kind of prime. But the water temperature is still 90 degrees in here. So that might be the reason there's no bass. I don't know. Uh, you guys who bass fish, let me know, what's the ideal temp of the, uh, of the water for the bass? It's, it's about eight foot deep. But like I said, it's 90 degrees on the surface and it's 10 o'clock. It's 9.30 at night, almost, almost 10 o'clock. So sun's been down quite a while. I've been out here for uh, eight, nine tenths for at least two hours fishing and no sign of any bass blow ups or hits. I've seen some wakes, pretty sure, like I said, that was alligator gar. So I don't know. Um, 
let me know in the comments below if there's like an ideal temperature i'm trying to learn the bass and understand the gar are fun it's kind of scary to stick stick my hand around them i'm glad both of those just got off the hook before i could get it in the boat um even though they were tiny you know i don't know like hardhead catfish sat uh, in salt water those are usually the ones that get you as the tiny ones because you can't hold on to them good <laughs> but uh thanks for watching guys uh appreciate you later